I'm Robert Osborne. We're in the midst of our night dedicated to a man who is never underestimated as a legendary film star, but always underrated as an actor. I speak of Errol Flynn, and joining me to help shed some light on his life and career is his daughter, Rory Flynn. Welcome back, Rory. Thank you, Robert. It's a pleasure. Up next, we shift gears from a war film to another genre that brought Errol Flynn great success, the adventure film. This one we're showing was directed by Michael Curtiz and William Keeley and co-stars Flynn's most frequent leading lady, Olivia de Havilland. It's a 1938 big screen adaptation of The Adventures of Robin Hood. No movie like this movie. Now, <laughs> now, was your father a great deal like that character? I think that's how it all started, obviously, was his charm, his wit, his intelligence, his, um, the grace that he has, the way he moves, everything about him. Yeah. He was Robin Hood. Yeah, there's some roles that some stars play that is perfect casting. Yeah, the whole film, uh, the best cast and crew that they uh -huh. could have assemb assembled. And um, now he didn't get along that well with uh, Michael Curtiz, did he? You know, it's an interesting thing that you ask that question because uh, I saw and I'm sure that he actually started really, I hate to use the word hate, but actually started really disliking Curtiz, and part of it started all the way from the Charge of the Light Brigade, when he killed all those horses, when my father disapproved of the tripwire that was there, when Would he you actually the horses. Yeah, and they yeah. killed them. And and my father, being a huge animal lover, I know he walked off the set many times on that. But that was the beginning with Curtiz. But they still did the most wonderful films together. Mm -hmm. They managed to do it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I also had another little interesting uh, fact that I didn't know anything about, Robert, for, until about two years ago, when I found out that Curtiz was married to Lily Demita. That's so interesting. That is interesting. You that wonder, puts a whole different context it's on it. It's a whole different context on everything, and it makes you wonder what, if it had any influence. But my father didn't married her in 1935. He was married to her in 1926, 27. They were married for two years. I was very shocked about that because it really did put another color Spin. on their relationship, sure. you know. I don't know if it had anything yeah. to do with their working, but there must have been something back there in the yeah. back of their minds. <laughs> but there was, no matter what, there was magic in the air magic. when they made this film magic. about Robin Hood. Yes. Well, let's see the film. Here it is, a film that most people consider to be Errol Flynn's best movie, certainly the one that fit his persona best and one that forever cemented Errol Flynn in film history. From 1938, also with a breathtaking musical score by Eric Wolfgang Korngold, The Adventures of Robin Hood. 